mind. Now Bev Brock's fight to protect the memory of the man she loved. Bev fears a new TV show about Peter Brock's life and times could leave his reputation in tatters. They all stand and salute one of Australia's greatest. He's done. This is not about money. This is about having the facts correct. And Brock is now two laps Racing up. legend Peter Brock's life is about to hit the small screen. There's been so many stories put around about Peter, most of which are absolute rubbish. But Bev Brock won't be watching. I'm just tired of it all, to be completely honest. That's it, a chequered flag for Peter Brock. To millions of fans, he was Peter Perfect. To the rest of them, he was simply Brocky. I would not be prepared to just sit back and let somebody trash an exceptional person's memory. And the woman who was with him for 28 years, their three kids and tribe of grandkids, a fighting man. They don't need to go through all of this. They don't need to put up with people's speculation and titillation. The kids love the father. You've written three books. The drama surrounds the books she wrote about our motor racing legend. They were so good, a production company bought the TV rights with her blessing. But another bidder she didn't approve now says they'll go it alone and screen the Peter Brock story this year. When people start talking about a miniseries, or a telly movie, and it's your life that's involved, you suddenly think, holy dolly, I, I want to have this actual. I want it to have it real. I don't want it to be um, titillating, uh, which is what happens with a lot of these things. Are you kidding? When are we supposed to sleep? When you get old. The company that won't involve her made the Michael Hutchins miniseries. I was not impressed with the Michael Hutchins story. I thought that that was really a sad way to handle it. Um, but, you know, they go ahead and do these things. Bev wasn't alone. Michael's own sister, Tina, was not impressed with it. I thought it was going to tell the true story of In Excess. There are a lot of inaccuracies. My concern is that that's what, that they'll take the same approach that they did with the Michael Hutchins story. And that's simply not how life was. Thank you very much. He wasn't. Peter Perfect, he got embarrassed by that, but 95% of him was truly amazing. And I would hate to see that side, of the, you know, the 5% that, you know, certainly wasn't bad, but was human. And I'd, I'd hate to think that they would emphasise that 5%. You know, we've got kids, we've got grandkids. You know, that's, people who want to sensationalise stories don't for one moment consider the impact that it has on the families that are left behind. When you're labelled a legend, People want you, men and women, and all for different reasons. The fact that women loved him and he loved women, his uncle that I looked after was the most perfect gentleman, and even he said, I don't know how I would react in a situation where I'm constantly presented with attractive women who are after me. And I don't know that anybody, any male, any red-blooded, testosterone-driven male does handle that very that, well. That's, that's been incredible. You're remarkably compassionate and understanding. I mean, how much stress do I want to have in my life? You know, you can't, you can't go around playing pretends and, and think that that's not going to happen. And, you know, did it change our relationship? No, we had a fabulous relationship. So, you know, if, if I'd for one moment thought that he didn't respect me or he didn't love me, when the, we wouldn't have been together. But that wasn't the case. The affairs are well documented. So too, the devastation of being left for another woman just 18 months before his death. What about Beth? Beth? Uh, yeah, what about Beth? He wanted to discover who he was. He'd been mollycoddled his entire life. He'd had people, he'd never managed the banks. He'd never managed the accountants, the solicitors. He didn't shop. He didn't even go to hairdressers. I cut his hair, you know, I bought all his clothes. He'd, all these things, he'd never used a card in the hole in the wall, you know, so he'd reached a point in time in his life where it was about him finding who he was. And he said, well, you know, I love you enough. I want you to be happy. I want you to go and do those things. So, you know, that's, you know, which is sad because you'd like to hold hands and drift off into the sunset together, but that's not always the case. You know, how many relationships in that high profile situation last 28 years? So, and they were 28 great years. But after that fatal car rally some eight years ago, Peter Brock, couldn't rest in peace. A court case over his estate dragged out for all to see between his last partner and Bev. It's the last thing that you'd want to have happen in a situation like that. You work your butt off, you put everything into your life and then suddenly you find 
you've got nothing, you inherit legal bills, uh, it's been a, a public uh, foray into your personal lives and you think this is the last thing any of us wanted. But you have no choice, you get on with life. And so it's that 5%, as she says, that 5% that involved other women and not cars, that this most loyal partner doesn't want to see as her man's legacy on the small screen. Bev, that is a remarkable picture. I thought it was a print, but he actually painted that. It's the original. There is no prints being done of that. He was an exceptional artist. He wasn't your typical motor race driver. Yeah. If he hadn't driven cars, he would have been an exceptional artist. Oh, yeah. Peter Brock, Chrysler still in front. It's a two car war. Brocky was, was arguably this nation's greatest ever motor racing driver. She wants us all to remember him for that. Bev, do you think you have a responsibility to protect the reputation and integrity of a man who can't be here to do that for himself anymore? Oh, totally. I, I feel an incredible responsibility because I knew him better than any person on this earth. And I know how important it was for him to be the best person he could be. And I hate seeing people try and trash that memory. No, he wasn't perfect. And I'm, I'm completely honest. And if there is something there to, to be critical of, I would come out and say it. But there's not. And Network 10 hasn't yet begun filming, but says the Peter Brock story will air later this year.